we'd like to show you how a user can choose his favorite authentication in password self-service. When I forget my password, I can click the forgotten password button. The FastPass self-service portal asks me what to do. I select Windows Password Problems. If I'm locked out, I choose this function. But I have forgotten my password. This is new and very important. I can choose how to authenticate. If I have my mobile phone available, I'll choose mobile. If the mobile phone is not available, I'll choose questions and answers. For some users in special situations, other alternatives are available, like the FastPass code card. I choose, however, the mobile option. Now, I have to enter my Windows ID. Then, within a few seconds, I receive a one-time PIN code in my mobile phone. Now, I'm securely authenticated in a way that can't fail. I can then make my own new password. As you see, FastPass helps me to get the password policies right. I can now return to my Windows login. Let's demonstrate another situation on how to use the FastPass code card as a physical token. Select Windows password, select forgotten password, select code card, and give my user ID. Now, FastPass asks for the content of two specific fields in the code card, and I enter both. I'm now authenticated and can enter my new password and get back to my work. The last example is the well-known challenge questions principle. Again, I select Windows Password, select Forgotten Password, and select Question. I give my user ID. Now, FastPass asks for the answer to a standard question. Now, FastPass asks for the answer to my own very personal question that only I can ask and answer. With correct answers, I'm now authenticated and can enter my new password and get back to my work. If you want to learn more about FastPass and flexibility for users' free choice, please contact us at www.fastpasscorp.com.